we're finally to the end of Phantom Blood. It has been a wild ride and a bizarre one. This was one hell of an experience, and I'm glad you are here to experience it with me. Now let's jump into the final volume of part one. We jump back into the fight with Blueford. A zombie tries to intervene, but Blueford has a high respect for Jojo since he's such a gentleman, a hero, and a man. Blueford kills the zombie so that he can kill Jojo himself. Nothing wrong there. He also asks Dio for permission since he's still his bitch. We then get some history about a challenge called the Challenge of the 77 Rings. This was a quest-like journey that knights took that involved scaling a mountain with stairs and roads while wearing heavy armor and along the way they fight 77 opponents who each have rings. This then creates a heavier burden to the knights and not a lot of people have completed this. This gave me very epic gamer vibes, like an RPG game that I would love to see a whole manga about, like an Afro Samurai type game. Very interested in more stuff like this or at least things similar to it in like a different manga. The fact that they can just toss something in like this and just be a random backstory shows how much excitement the actual story is. It's truly mind blowing. During this buff men touching each other, they get thrown into the water and Blueford decides to let Jojo swim up to the surface so they can have a fair fight. A true gentleman, if you will. But Jojo gives him a big ol' fuck you and swims deeper with his balls of steel. He then finds an air bubble to be able to use his hamen. Here he uses a new hamen technique, turquoise overdrive. But Blueford dodges and busts the biggest nut from how heroic Jojo is. They continue their fight and Blueford spurts out that he is feeling pain. The Haman is turning him back into a human. What a twist. But he still disintegrates after a powerful speech. But also gives Jojo a sword. I am sure that will come in handy at some point. Tarkus finally comes in and calls Blueford a pussy and begins the rampage. He is a crazy bastard as he would also kill children and women since he leads to become a mass murderer. This is one crazy asshole. Jojo and Zapelli then become goddamn Green Lanterns and create a giant leaf from the leaves in the water to jump down to safety with some bug life type shit. Here we get a bit of Zapelli's past and see where he learned Haman from. And this old fart tells him that he is destined to die if he learns Haman. Because why not, I guess. They fall into some night training grounds and Jojo gets trapped into a chamber called the Layer of Two-Headed Dragon, where the key is on the other person's neck and must take it to escape. Here the little kid pisses his pants. That's it. He pisses himself. Really added to the story. We then get some background on this little kid on why he pisses himself and decides to grow some cojones to help Jojo by crawling to a hole that only he could fit in to pull the lever on the other side of the door in the middle of Jojo's fight. Wowzer, good job piss boy. Zapelli comes in and decide this is the prophesized time for his death and we cut back into another flashback and god is the world building in places that we get to see just extremely gorgeous. It gives me Batman Begins training vibes. The vibes man, it's all about the vibes. And we cut back to them fighting and Zapelli gets cut in half. What the fuck? He did not deserve to die like this, and I hope Tarkus dies violently, that fucking bastard. Zapelli is still somehow alive after being cut and uses one last trump card and gives Jojo all of his life energy. And then he dies. Jojo with his anger starts trying to rip off his collar and with his massive dick energy, he breaks through. And now he's shirtless. What's better than shirtless men? Let the battle begin. This boy angered with hatred beats the living shit out of him and tears his arm in half and pummels his face in until he disintegrates. It was brutal, but completely satisfying. After the death of Zapelli, Jojo has grown more mature, but in his face lies more darkness. He seems to have become faster and stronger from the energy that Zapelli has given him. Turns out that the town has already been attacked and Jojo takes some zombies out with ease. Someone else attacks him and it turns out that's the guy from the temple where Zapelli learned Haman. And we find out that Zapelli sent a letter asking for help. And we meet his master. 
we cut back to Dio having the biggest drip known to man. He then tells a woman that he would spare her child, but this evil motherfucker turns her and makes her attack and devour her own child. I can't wait to see him dead. We find out that Dio is trying to get Poco's sister to be internally 16 forever. That fucking creep. She says, fuck no, and slaps him, and Dio sends an evil guy after her, because why not? Jojo swoops in and saves her, and fights the guy, and then we see that his head is just a bunch of snakes coming out of it. That's gross. Jojo has shown great improvement in the use of Haman, and fucks this guy up. We finally meet up to Dio, and Jojo says he's gonna kill him for revenge. But before they start fighting, Dyer steps in and says it's his right to get revenge, since he met Zapelli 20 years ago and they were friends. He tries the move he did on Jojo beforehand, but it does not work. He gets frozen and shattered with ease. But before he dies, his decapitated head puts Haman into a rose and throws the stem into Dio's eyes before he is shattered completely. Jojo uses this rose incident to figure out how to counteract Dio's freeze technique and embeds his Haman into the sword that was given for him from Blue Ford. And now the final battle begins. Jojo goes in on him and cuts his fucking arm off. Jojo then cuts him in half, but this crazy bastard does not die and freezes the sword of Jojo and grabs a fucking vein from his neck? Can somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? This battle is just weird overall, but it seems that Jojo's Haman does not work on Dio. Jojo's still too stubborn to give up on his Nindo way, lights his gloves on fire to counter the ice and punches the fuck out of Dio right through his chest. Seriously, what the fuck is happening? While he is disintegrating away, Dio shoots a fucking laser out of his fucking eye? Huh? This last ditch effort does not do much and we watch Dio implode. And as Jojo watches Dio fall, Jojo sheds a tear for his old friend. As Jojo passes out, we see that Dio cut his head off before the Haman reaches his brain. And one of his underlings saves his head and runs off with it. Son of a bitch. We see some after battle events and they smash the stone mask. A year passes by and Jojo marries the girl from the beginning. They are about to head to the honeymoon on a ship and some suspicious looking coughing is brought to board. No way that could fuck up anything now can it? Not at all. They start their dinner party and they drink some alcohol and some weird stuff begins to happen. A drunk guy goes to the suspicious coffin and gets his head blasted and the Chinese guy opens the coffin to reveal Dio's head. Dio decides that the only way he can move on is by taking Jojo's body and X-Men beams him and it actually hits. Oh no. The shot made him unable to breathe and can't use Haman. But before they take off his head, Jojo uses the rest of his energy to use the last bit of Haman to fuck up the Chinese man and use his body to try to blow up the ship. Arena tries to die with him on the boat as his bottom bitch, but Jojo sees a baby and tells her to save her. Dio tries one more time to take Jojo's body, and while he tries that, Jojo stabs his neck and holds on to Dio as Jojo dies himself. He fucking dies holding the head of the man that fucked over his life. No sweet ending here. Arena survives with the baby and we find out that she is also pregnant and the curtain on Jonathan Joestar ends and a new one is about to begin. Wow, this was a chaotic volume, so many turns and excitement. I could not have asked for a better closure on this final part of Phantom Blood. I wanted a more brutal ending for Dio, but this will have to do for now and he shall die with his old friend. Now I am excited for the next one. But that will be for another time. To battle tendency we go. Thanks for watching.